this is our look at the globe display. So you can see these white globes some up there. Back up a little, you can see them hiding the one in the background. Uh, there are 10 of these on the tree. And they are held up. Well, first of all, I can kind of zoom in on one. So we see the globe. It's just a, uh, maybe that one would be better. It's a very typical globe that you'd have on a light fixture on a porch. And then it is supported on these lengths of half inch conduit. And they're sized, I just basically uh, took a picture of the tree and sized them uh, what I thought would look good. And then the conduit is uh, five feet maximum. Um, the reason it's five feet maximum is because you kind of have to put it in the tree and lift it up. And then you can probably see they're kind of attached with rope so they don't fall over when we get wind. And they all come back to this box here. Um, the only thing in the box is just the power supply. So that box sends out 12 volts to each of them. And then I brought some other, I'll show you what's inside because I don't want to open up one up. So this is what's inside each of those. So it's a little uh, globe, a dodecahedron with 11 faces and each face has three WS2812 LEDs on it. So you can think of that as stuck up on uh, a shaft like this up inside the globe, stuck up inside the globe. And then elsewhere, a little uh, ESP8266 board in each of them. And that's running the program that does all the color change and all the fade. And then the only other thing inside each of them, the little 12 volt to 5 volt converter. And the reason I do that, the reason I run it on 12 volts rather than 5, uh, is that the nice part about using 12 volts is I don't have to worry about voltage loss. So, you know, some of these, like the this one here is really close, so it would have very little voltage loss. Um, there's another one that's probably 25 feet up on the tree, so it's going to have a considerably more voltage loss. And by putting a 12 volt to 5 volt converter, um, I end up with 5 volts at every globe. Um, I also probably could have used smaller wires than this, uh, but that was kind of what I had. So, that is the globe design. There's a close-up of the big bush with the animated balls on it. So the balls are about six inches. They are uh, white globes that you'd have covering like porch lights and with RGB emitters inside of that. And they're each running their own programs, but uh, a lot of times they sync up because they kind of run at the same rate.